morning to you, Oscar and Dad Matthew. Thanks for joining us bright and early. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so what a fantastic ambition, Oscar. You must be a big fan of walking. Yeah. Yes, do you do yeah, lots of walking already? Big fan. So tell us about what was the inspiration then, Dad Matthew. What, what made you come up with this idea? Yeah, well, he'd seen uh, Edmund Hillary at school and that was really important to him. And he came home saying, oh, I want to be the youngest person to climb Mount Everest. Mm. So um, I sort of explained to him the reality of what that was in terms of climbing big mountains. Um, and he continued to be really keen and was saying to people that we would meet, you know, oh, I want to be the first uh, youngest person to climb Mount Everest. So people kept telling him the reality. And so over time, I thought, well, we need to harness this ambition. So what we decided to do was come up with a plan for the 12 mountains. Uh, and as we got further through, maybe two or three people on the mountain started to stop him and ask him, what are you doing up here? This is very high. And they were like, uh, Elsa was like, oh, I'm doing this from a training for Mount Everest. So then we thought, oh, could this be a fundraising opportunity? So that's where we contacted uh, Derry and House and Derry and House were like, yeah, we'd love to do that. So Oscar has been really fortunate. We've got lovely T-shirts. He's even got a special one of his own that says Lovely. Oscar's Everest Walk on there. And if uh, people want to, to follow him, they can search Oscar's Everest Walk and, and see where he's up to with his fundraising, which has been absolutely amazing so far. And he set his first target as the, as the height of Mount Everest in metres at 8,849. And he's already gone through that. And we're up at £11,500. £11, so it's been a wow. journey. Now, Oscar, uh, every time we mention... Every time we mention Edmund Hillary or Mount... What were you saying? Sorry, son. And then you're back on my T-shirt. You can scan my back. Yeah, he's got... A, on the back of his T-shirt, the list of mountains and a little scan token they've done for, for donations. So he was really chuffed with that. That came oh, last fantastic. night. Fantastic. Right. Excellent. But we, when, we, when we mention Mount Everest or we mention... Uh, Sir Edmund Hillary, who was the first man to get to the summit uh, there. What, why does that make you smile? Why does that excite you? Why, what made you want to do what you're going to do? Because I saw Edmund Hillary on the telly at school and that made me want to be the youngest person to climb Mount Everest. Wow. Yeah, so Eamon, he came back telling me this and he was like, who is the youngest so obviously you dive straight into Google, don't you, and find out that, that the youngest person, according to Google, was 13. So Oscar's like, I've got quite a few years to be the youngest person. <laughs> so uh, we thought, let's go for a realistic challenge. And it's been absolutely amazing. And uh, the journey so far has been unbelievable. And look Oscar. at the length of his little legs. He's only little tiny legs and little tiny feet, Daddy. I mean, this is like child cruelty, you making him walk these mountains. <laughs> no. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's, it's all about keeping up any of the footage. You see Oscar's miles out in front. I've got his sister on my back and we're chasing, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's remarkable, but he's always been really energetic and I think that's been the, the key factor. And, yeah, as you can see on the footage here, he's, he's coming up a mountain with one of his great friends, Oliver Perkins, who's done quite a few with us. And, you know, the weather has been amazing uh, experience. And I think I would just really want to encourage people to embrace the great British outdoors it's great learning experience. Oscar's found it fantastic. And, and it's really built personal resilience in all of us. You know, the, the fact that we've gone up a couple of mountains and had to come back because the weather hasn't been right. And it's just, I don't know, I can't speak highly enough of what fun you can have uh, outside. And, you know, when we're raising it for such a great cause, Derry and House, which is a children's hospice in, in Chorley, that give respite and, and end-of-life care to over 400 families across the northwest. And Oscar's big driver has been they have holiday lodges uh, in Blackpool and in the Lake District. And his big goal is to send children on holiday. And so far, he's achieved 11 families having, having a breakaway in a really difficult time in their life. And our goal now is to get to 29,000, which is the height of Everest in feet, so that we can send even more children uh, for, for some great time away. And it's a way that we can give. Oscar's got a great look talent here and it's lovely to see that it can help others. Um, Oscar, just lastly, I've got kids, I try to take them walking, I've attempted a couple of mountains, they're not that into it, but my secret is to bribe them with <laughs> chocolate and Mars bars. Do you get any treats when you're climbing mountains? Yeah, Kendall Mint Cake. Kendall Mint Cake, Big that's Kendall classic. Mint. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> well, there we go. Very good. Dad, thanks for explaining everything. Oscar, you continue to um, 
get strength in those legs and do what you're doing for Derry and House. Lovely talking to you. Yeah, Every success you to you. And uh, we look forward to when you're a sir like Sir Edmund Hillary. Thank you. Thank you very much.